In Commitment 2022 today, we are looking at races for county judge, which are on this month's primary election ballot. Because these are nonpartisan races, every voter will get a chance to decide. Right now, Western News political reporter Greg Fox shows us the contenders in Orange County and explains this important elected office. County courts are often called the people's courts. Whether you're fighting a traffic ticket, in a dispute with your homeowners association, sue a business or have some other small claim, chances are the problem will be settled by a county judge. Those are the people that um, make the decisions that impact our daily lives. That's why the League of Women Voters hosted this forum for the four contested seats in Orange County in the August primary election. In County Group 17, Josh Adams, who practices criminal and family law, is challenging appointed judge Elizabeth Gibson in her bid for election to a six-year term. Both were asked about enforcing a law they may not agree with. We are able to work together to find reasonable solutions. It just has to be reasonable solutions that are contained within the law that was already written by someone else. And as a judge, it's not their job to interpret which laws they're going to enforce, but you are picking people who have the experience and judgment to how to handle those situations. In group two, appointed judge Andrew Bain is fighting off a challenge from assistant public defender Jared Adelman. Both of them asked about how they would ensure unbiased court decisions. In my courtroom, I would make sure that every defendant, every, and for that matter, every plaintiff, every victim is having an opportunity to be heard. Make sure you're reviewing the law and making sure that that law is applied equally amongst everyone, no matter about social, economic, race, religion, anything to make that person different. Elizabeth Starr is seeking re-election in Group 8 after serving seven years and is up against Michael Morris, a family law attorney. They were asked about the personal characteristic that makes them best suited to be on the bench. I am usually pretty good about following deadlines, and I certainly believe that I could... Uh, be somebody that could move cases along because sometimes justice delayed can be justice denied. But the only way I can really say my plan when I take the bench is to follow the law. That is why I believe in my judicial philosophy because I don't know any better way. And in group nine, Amanda Bova is a former public defender running against Stephen Miller who was unable to attend. I believe that our community deserves judges that are highly qualified, but who also have the demeanor and personality that our community deserves. According to the Florida Bar, 51 county and circuit court races are on the ballot. This primary election for voters, another 227 seats are uncontested. In Orange County, Greg Fox, Washington News.